Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Dishonored. Apparently it tells me the safe combination here. I wonder if it did that with the other safe that I missed last time as well. Oh, I can get Vitality. I don't want Vitality. I'm never in combat, clearly. So we'll get three or two more runes and we'll go with that. Okay. We need to make our way back to the safe. Are you two making out or hugging? Why would two prostitutes be making out with each other? Uh, there's no one, okay. Yeah, I know why they would, right? In the general scheme of things, they might be in a relationship. They might be being paid to do that. There's no one there though, and they're standing in the middle of the room, so it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's just like why like just go to your rooms to do that if you want to do that. Oh, you're not much of a public display of affection. Nah, it's not that. It's like you're in a you're in a whorehouse. Just <laughs> there's no one watching you. Did someone pay you to stand in the middle of the room to do that? I mean, that's easy money. Ah, oh, shit. I might have had to go around. You're right. Well, we'll give it a go. Oh, well, apparently the range on this is much better than I originally thought. I absolutely do not do that. Where is... Over here. Now, I'm... I might... Well, I don't know why I wasted that. It's not really waste, it recharges, but still. Now, I might be able to save uh, Emily and come back this way. I'm gonna do the combination first, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna go loot the chest, then I'm gonna go give it the slack jaw, and then I'll probably meet you guys back at the place. Alright. Yeah, because I don't wanna You chance it, yeah? I guess this is a good way to put it. Yeah, I don't want to chance it. Every, oh man, I need more mana. Visions of mana, even. Ow. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to go around this way. Could just heal, you're not wrong. Finally using all those potions, huh? Yeah, so let's use all those potions. Eight, seven, nine. And everyone... What? Oh! There's a rune! Oh, right! It's behind the safe. You guys still cozy in here? E. Alright, so... Eight... Seven... Nine. There we go. Is this the moment of the harvest? Time has lost all we... You're not wrong. How can it be that I know such things? Uh, I can take a few guesses. Uh, there's a rune. Bale's party invitation. Portrait. Why did I need that party invitation? Was that what he wanted? <laughs> Give me those. I need that for my time stopping abilities. Yeah, it's nice. Money. Thank you. Is that it? That looks to be it. And there's none here. All right, we're good. So back to Slackjaw and then... Think this is gonna hurt? No. I'm surprised no one saw that. To say the least. <laughs> uh, it's, 
Hey, dude, I don't want to spend too much money on you because you you charged me out of my ass. But like, can I have a couple more sleeping darts? Thank you. And we can give this back to Slackjaw. Yeah, after we hand this in, I'll I will just uh, meet you guys back at the brothel. There we go. Didn't really need to waste that much mana, but sure. Uh, Slackjaw. Ah, uh, where were you at? There you go. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man. It wasn't that hard. You just it's only natural. Electrocute him. Curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there, half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking minds. Nice. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. <coughs> oh, sweet. I thought you were gonna have me like drop them off or something. Blackjaw. It's me, Crowley. Oh, we already did that. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. You was right. All right, cool. Well, that was easy. Now I just need to go save Emily, right? So I guess I'm. Oh, uh, the art of the steel. You got the art deal safe combination for Slackjaw. But rob the safe first. Nice. Uh, all right, cool. I will meet you guys at the, the uh, Golden Cat. All right, back street is in fact back. So do we need to go to the office? I mean, we were just at the office when we uh, searched the office. I don't know. Okay. I mean, fair enough. I already did that, didn't I? Well, no, I choked her out and then I left. And then I put these guys in here. Oop, oop. Golden Cat Master Key. I know you were running low on beds, but I must have a room for the child. She's more important than you can guess. Recently, she almost got away using the VIP entrance. That's why I decided to keep the Master Key in my possession. The girl must be cared for, even if she's a brat. I want her to be kept in a room to herself. Well, at least you're not stupid, I guess. Nice. Now where is this? Up there. I hear a lot of noise. Oh my god, was that her? Oh, motherfucker. Hey, Emily, are you in here? to sneak around, aren't you? No! They, they, they told me you were head chopped off in, in the prison, dead, like like mother. That seems like a long time ago. It was like six months, right? But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. Cool. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. You want me to kill them? Are you it's sure? I got five sleeping darts, but I will kill for you, child. Child care, you look at Emily Caldwin? Is that your last name? Heir to the throne? Oh, I don't think I've been down here. Why did I not notice that there was... Excuse me, coming through. I don't know why you stealth there, Cronus, when she didn't stealth. That's true. All right, what do you want me to do? Unlock it so we can get away from this place. Okay, jeez. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. No, I swam. You near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. Cool. Well, that was easy. This is easy. Uh, this is a week supply of elixir. Tell your ladies to drink up, but the boss says we gotta have coin payment. No more trades. I don't need it. You're lucky. Uh, is there anything else for me to do? No. 
Oh, fuck. This was, I could have done this at the end of last episode. That was easy. This goes to the distillery? Oh! Little birds, I've got some seed for you. You didn't, you didn't eat Emily, did you? Okay. Well, that was... All right, cool. Well, good thing I took out these weepers then, because I'm pretty sure Emily would have been eaten. Uh, let's see. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. Coming through. Eight seconds is almost up. Huh? Attention, Dunwall. You didn't hear that. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Heretics brand, and by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman, it is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid. Or minor or criminal? Okay. In this time of sure, you shouldn't make it a major criminal offense. Like you seize all their assets and stuff like that. A new high overseer is chosen. Wow, I definitely did not need to waste five hundred dollars on sleeping darts then, huh? Ah, that's a shame. Look out for the watch. They got no respect for law. What? Look out for what the watch. They have no respect for the law. Are they not the law? There was people down here, right? We're good. I think we're good. Okay, we're good. The hell is this? Eat. Delicious. Hello, everyone. Time to leave. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. All right, let's go. Robbed a few people. Saved Emily. Got half the money available, apparently. What the fuck? Interesting. Uh, anyways. That was super easy. Uh, faceless. After escaping Cold Ridge Prison, you completed a mission without alerting anyone. What? Spectre. After escaping prison, you completed a mission not alerting anyone and killing less than five people. But I was detected, wasn't I? Because I didn't. I don't have ghosts checked off. You know what? Fine. Thank you. Emily is now safe in the protective care of the loyalists with her well-being. I should have used the heart on her. We could probably do that here. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. Cool. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business. I had their tongues ripped out and sent them to the mine. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of growing up business at the Golden Cat. I should concentrate on piloting <laughs> this boat. Young lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Schooling? Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. Tower? You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. Maybe. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. Okay. I'll see you later. If you see Perio anywhere near the bathroom, let me know so I can kill him. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. Cool. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. 
All right, cool. I gotta go use this heart on Emily. Emily, don't freak out. I have a heart in my hand. Where you at? God damn it. Child. Look for a child. Uh. Okay, Pendleton's over there. I thought they were talking about that as the. Where the f- <laughs> Where did she go? She got tiny legs. How the fuck did she move so fast? Hi, Lydia. You have anything to say? I hope his lordship is taking this well. Pendleton, I mean. I do worry about the poor man. Alright. I'll be giving your quarters a good scrubbing. I hope you don't mind having a lady in your room. I don't... Yeah, what? Okay. As long as I don't have to clean up after myself. Your work at the Golden Cat was something for the poets, Corvo. Both targets eliminated and Emily delivered to us without so much as a bump or a bruise. You, I mean, dude, it was actually really easy. Shockingly easy. It was a easy. time for the family. Perhaps we should not speak. Okay. You mean my family or like the Pendletons? Because I don't give a fuck about the Pendletons. Did you put Emily in my room? No. Give me these sleep dots. Thank you. Is it the tower over here that Emily's in? Look, I just need to use the heart on her. I don't want to look around right now. Of course. We can give you the tour later, when you've rested. I was wondering... Do you think my mother is really dead? Ugh. Yeah. I saw her get stabbed. Yeah. Maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere, and thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. I just kind of fucked that she couldn't go. Hi. I've been planning for Emily. Lesson plans are together. A schedule is prepared. We will make life as normal as possible here. The horror she has seen. But all that's almost over. A new? No. Oh, uh... No heart stuff? Okay. Uh, Emily! Don't freak out. She sees more than she's telling. Young Lady Emily. Poor Emily. Her childhood is lost. She has become a pawn in the games of men. She was bribed with sweet biscuits and ox milk, calmed with stories of magic and seafaring, all to keep her sane in a time of turmoil. She hides her fears. She seeks someone to trust. Ooh, me! She clings to her childhood things, but they bring her only brief comfort. She sees more okay. than she's telling. How you doing, Emily? I mean, this place isn't as pretty as the Golden Cat, but I like it better anyway. I would like it better than a brothel, too, myself. You can see the tower across the river from here. That's where my mother died. Okay. Sometimes I wonder about the man who stabbed my mother. Who was he? So I get to stay in the smaller tower while I live here. That'll be good practice. <laughs> I like Samuel. Perhaps we can take another boat ride soon. Jesus. Oh, I can't talk to you anymore? You don't want to talk? Okay. Oh, that's weird. Now is my time to show my worth in this coalition. I knew this was why they brought me here, but I didn't want to say it out loud lest it not happen. Superstitious, I know. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought you guys repeated dialogue. So if the if the icon's still there, I can just keep pressing it until uh, until you're out. Fair enough. The city is better off without the men you took care of, those loudish twins. And now, Lord Pendleton can slow the Lord Regent down in Parliament. Gum up the works. Bit by bit, we're winning. I mean, yeah. Let's just hope the city lasts long enough for us to make things right again. 
bit by bit. Okay, so you do repeat it eventually. I envy your trip to the Golden Cat. They must have gorgeous gowns. They were all like fucking in their underwear, actually. You startled me. You moved so silently. You could have been a dancer. La da 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 da. The night at the Golden Cat, Corvo. I wonder if it's your first time. Maybe. All right, we can go talk to Pendleton. I'm like, dude, we didn't kill your family. We just, <laughs> we just send them the wish they were dead. Way different. Corvo, the loyalist conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. You said you were all right with it. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the royal spy master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Thanks? You alright? The mad genius. Updated? Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. <laughs> I suppose this means I'll have to have children. Or else recognize one of my bastards. God, I hate like 90% of the people here. This will be a new beginning for the Pendletons. I'll make sure of that. Yeah, alright. <laughs> like the help? All cool. Except for Perio. Uh, fucking boat dude? Dude, fucking great. Emily, super cool now that she's here too. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwind Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. All right, cool. Sokolov's on Gamble's journal. It's amazing. And as head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy, he's an odd bird, to be sure. Okay. Not that the streets around us are pleasant, but there's no rioting at least. Dude, I'm trying to talk. Who's talking? One of the more desolated sections of the city. With Campbell gone, you showed skill in dealing with the Pendletons. I'm impressed. When a fight starts in a brothel, well, I've seen it go poor. I just choked a bunch of people out. It's fine. You know Sokolov, don't you? They say genius and madness are so finely balanced in his personality that no one can tell the difference. Fair enough. Your first Sokolov's on the bridge right now, but he's given to late night wanderings. Best to move as soon as possible. He's so one so I can't go to sleep? To putting things right. If we could bring him to our side, think From what, what he I and Piero could accomplish together. Oh yeah. Um, should I go around looking for things? I mean, I probably should. Just in case there's new stuff. Like money-wise, or... I know there's no hearts, or bones, not hearts, but... There's no bone charms or runes. This is my room. Uh, okay. Where's that other part? There was... with the other rooms. Over here. Well, you, you guys usually have new stuff, right? I eat that guy's snack. Oh, hey. Hello, Mr. Corvo. I'll be getting on with my work then. No, talk to me. The Admiral says sound travels for miles over water. I'm afraid even to sneeze. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? I feel like a ghost. I'm talking to you right now. I've been practicing my curtsy. But it's not going well. Okay. I don't mind helping Wallace. He gives me the dirty work, but that's what I do. I'm accepting of that. Someone has to do it, right? Yeah. Are you alright? You seem very down. 
Actually, now that I think about it, didn't you mention something that was kind of like super dark earlier? In terms of like. Oh, what's that? In their work. The city is not yet secure. Pub master room key. Interesting. Pub master room. Third entry. Battleton was willing to go farther than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood to the cause, and I can see that he's and I can see that he's truly loyal to the Empire. Could I have done the same if my brother was still alive today? Probably, undoubtedly. Many innocents must be sacrificed for the good of Dunwell. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Corvo's blade is giving his life for the Empire. No, I have not killed most people, alright? I have done a decent job with not killing most people. Now, did I kill some? Yes. Did they deserve it? Also, yes. I didn't kill anyone in the last two missions, though, right? Well, okay. I might have killed... Like, technically, I might have killed an assassin and a thug, right? Because I got involved in my fight and ended up dying in it. I don't know if that actually counts towards my kill count. I wish I had a thing to see my kill count. That guy looks like a werewolf. Yeah, is there a way to see like how many people I have killed? I don't know. That'd be cool. Money. I should stock up on sleeping darts. Now that I'm here. Oh, I should probably upgrade some stuff as well. Do I have the key to this now? Fuck, I have the pub master key, but you're not gonna give me access to that still, huh? That's rude. Perio, dog. Oh, you know what? I'll check upstairs, too, while we're here. Just in case. Oh, there's food. Because I'm stealing your ra rations. Ask me for any gear you need. Cool. Can I have a automatic 50-barrel shotgun? And make sure, make sure it doesn't, like, shoot out my freaking shoulder when I uh, blast it, right? Uh, bone charm capacity. I really wish I could upgrade my sleep dart capacity. Uh, I should probably buy this so I can actually zoom in on stuff, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. And you know what? Fine, whatever. So if I buy this, do you think maybe I'll unlock sleep dart? capacity. That'd be cool. Nope. That was a waste of $600. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe I should not have bought that. <laughs> I say... Uh... Because I feel like I'm totally gonna accidentally press that at some point and then confuse the shit out of myself. I have more books. Anything new... No. Oh, it's a trunk. Okay. What time is it? You know what? Okay. Well, I guess we'll go to our next mission next episode. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you all then. Have a great day. Bye.